glad to see Billy back riding competitively. Ben, well done. Well jumped. Bravo. Every time I see you, you're riding much better. Thanks. That's a very nice mare. You're going to be hard to beat against the clock. I'm going to be unbeatable against the clock. Tell you what. You beat me, I buy you dinner. I beat you, I buy you dinner. <laughs> you're on. Campbell Black with her son Marcus. He has asthma. You must know her. In hospital, yes, I hear you, Helen. But I can't simply just drop every... Yes, Helen. Yes, all right. I'm coming home. Yes? Who? Janie. No, I'm afraid Billy's not available at the moment, Janie. Can I give him a message? Just tell him I must have been mad and that I'm coming home, okay? Right. So you're coming home again? We'll see about that. I had a cousin who used to get asthma. I know what you're going through. It's, it's really frightening. I honestly thought he was going to die. He was coughing so much. He'll be okay. You don't have to worry now. I mean, this is a great hospital. Rupert, I'm glad you're here. Yes. I said I'd find you in here. Well, Helen, it was croup. What was? What was croup? What Marcus had was an asthma. According to the doctors, it was croup. How is your wife meant to know? She isn't a doctor. You're a fool, Helen. I told you not to get rid of Nanny. Nanny would have recognized Croup a mile off. And thanks to you, I've had a scratch from the bloody Grand Prix. Well, that's probably just as well, because you wouldn't have beaten Fenn. I'm going. Are you coming? No. You go ahead. I want to stay with Marcus. Bravo. You remembered. Oh, I thought you were at Hickstead. Stupid horse did a leg. Come in. Entree. Who waved a wand? I did. I just love playing maids. <sighs> Drinky? Okay. What's going on, Rupert? Did you give Billy my message? Yes, I did. But he won't be back until tomorrow. And Helen... Helen's at the hospital. Wow! You naughty boy. Yes. Well, that's what all my teachers said. Cheers. Oh, 
bottoms up. I drink to that. Right. What do you mean, right? Splendid. Billy's going to love this. Billy? Why should Billy ever see it? Oh, he won't. Unless you're fool enough to show your oversexed little face here again. Now, put on your clothes and go and ring for a taxi. What the bloody hell's going on? Simple. The party's over. Meaning? Meaning nobody does what you did to Billy. Now get dressed. You bastard. You absolute bastard. You slut. You absolute slut. Rupert's been at it again. You can't keep this one a secret from Helen. Look, Miranda Jane reveals all. I wonder what his poor wife will say. Well, if, if I don't deserve all this, <laughs> I'd better. Why don't you read page six and find out? My Nights of Love with Rupert Campbell Black. Poor old Helen. Enough of Helen and Rupert. How about us? <laughs> I hope you don't mind, but I really wanted to talk to somebody. No, I, I, I don't mind at all. <laughs> yeah, don't believe everything you read in these bloody things either. <laughs> Well, it's all true. It was while I was having Tabitha, and he was competing in Portugal. She was filming there. I, I'm not very good at this kind of conversations. You know, isn't there, isn't there anyone else you can talk to? Yes. But you see, I wanted to talk to you. So guess who's got his motivation back? What did it? The Olympics. Come on, something triggered you. You're right. Something has. Where are you going? Skiing. I know that. Where? Wherever the best snow is. Anyone would think that I was the person who had done something wrong here. You are. May I know what? What you've done? No. You don't do anything. That's the whole point. You just lie there. <sighs> what else does he say? Oh, that I'm uh, prissy, too old fashioned, too submissive, sexually unadventurous, and that I have no sex appeal. He says you have no sex appeal. And the reason being because I'm lacking self-confidence. You're not short of sex appeal. But you are lacking in confidence, which is ridiculous. Apparently, the real problem is, is that I'm frigid. Who are you? You tell me. So now for the lap of honor, led by the Victor Medora. The winner of the Daily Chronicle Cup for this week's overall champion, Vanilla Maxwell. A girl who certainly has to be one of our best bets for a medal in next year's Olympics. Ben Maxwell. I often wonder why I didn't marry a French woman. Well, French seem to have, how shall I put it, a much better man. <laughs> you know what I was saying earlier on? <laughs> 